Okay, we're going to start in the dashboard and export the app from right here. Click here and we can export it. Just click download the zip. And now that it's downloaded, I'm going to close this and move it over a little bit. And I'm going to take this file, zip file, and put it on my desktop someplace. There it is. Okay, so let's find our websites here. Uh, it's on Click Websites over here. Scroll and find yours. Let's see, mine is right here, Richard H. Okay, so I have actually installed WordPress already. Um, so I'm going to go to cPanel, and this is my login name, which should be what yours is. I'm going to copy this and go to my cPanel. Looks like this. And I type in my username, and my password is my eight-digit UHID. So mine is 102. And click Login. And so here I am in my cPanel. And uh, then now I go to File Manager. It's the first one here. And let's go into Public HTML. Double click. And these are a bunch of files that you'll, these directories and so on that you'll see if you have already installed WordPress. If you have not installed WordPress yet, that's fine. Uh, you won't have any of the WordPress files, but it doesn't matter. Uh, over on the left here, we can click the plus sign and see where we're at. And so we're actually going to add one more uh, folder. So I'm going to click the plus folder up here. And I'm going to name the folder Places create new folder. Okay, here it is. And I'm going to enter that folder, double click. And now I'm going to upload my zip file. Click upload. And I can actually just drag this over here. And go back. And now I can reload, and there's my zip file. And then I can unzip it, click on it, right click, and select Extract. And yes, that's where I want it extracted. Okay, there it all is. Close. And I can see them all here. If you don't see them, click Reload, and they should all be there. And uh, Next, uh, we'll see that this doesn't quite work. If I, if I go to Places, we don't get anything. Uh, so we have to go back here, and we actually have to create another little file. We're going to create a file called chmod.php. And we're just going to copy this line into that file, and then we're going to save it, and then we're going to run it by going to the URL where that file is, and then after that, hopefully, it'll work. So right here, in places, I'm going to do a new file, and I'm going to name it chmod.php, create new file, and then here it is, and I'm going to edit the file. I'm going to click on edit right up here and edit. And in here, let me go back to the instructions. I'm going to copy the yellow, copy that yellow, right click copy and go back to the editor here and do a right click paste. And there it is. It's this PHP line. It executes this command, and then it should echo out the word done. So let's save the changes, and we can close it. And now let's, over here, when we try to go to places, let's do places slash chmod.php. So I'm going to hit enter, 
and we see it says the word done. That means it executed and displayed out the word done. Now I should just be able to go back to places. Let me get rid of the chmod and just go back to places. Uh, there we go. Seems to work. So I can do that and click on, let's see, Mexico Fiesta and uh, more. This doesn't have a dollar price rating yet. And so that's nice. And you know, you can, uh, you can actually add in, add reviews here if you want to. Uh, okay, so anyway, it looks like it works. And so, uh, Thanks for watching.